You are live, Mr. Wobble. All right. It is yeah, I know they're there. Give, give time for people to get in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I hear Wayland in there on it. Anybody in there? Oh, there's one viewer. It's probably you. <laughs> Hi, Wayland. I knew I heard you in there. <clears throat> I don't know what all this stuff means on the side here. Clicking on banner, banner summarizes bulletins. I don't need to ban. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's the band on the bottom. We're live. Where is my picture at? Mm -hmm. Exit and get back on. Yeah. Try this again. So we got one more comment. There we are. Dodie Dicky said hi. Hi, Dodie. Trying to get this thing all figured out, y'all. This is absolutely crazy. Oh, now it's like it says nine on there. Everybody say hi. Hi, hi, Catherine. I've been reading all your uh, comments. <clears throat> Appreciate all y'all support. Absolutely. Y'all, it's, it's been crazy. She's been commenting a lot here lately. We've well, been doing a lot of, lot more videos, which Brandon didn't have much of an option. <laughs> she was with me the whole time, so <clears throat> hope y'all been enjoying the videos. But y'all, we hit the 6K marker. Like, yeah, we were wow, blown away. Like just. What, like two or three days ago? Four, four days ago. We just hit 5K on Tuesday. And then earlier, he's like, hey, we're already over 6,000. I'm like, no way. And I was like, what? Wow. So if y'all are in here, comment <clears throat> hi so we know you're in here because we can't see you unless you comment. Just say hi and say where you're from. Thanks, Dodie. You're like, just keeping up with it. Just subscribe today. Love your videos. Thanks, Glenn Taylor. Yeah. Thanks. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, we got a uh, we got a good video that Brandy's going to get on Monday. <clears throat> and uh, I think y'all enjoy it. I'm going to deliver a building to a customer down in Henderson, Texas. So I was down at we was down in South Texas. Elbow cough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it was down in South Texas for the uh, past couple weeks. And um, let me see where we went. We went to Donna, Texas, Edinburgh, uh, Mission, Rio Grande City. Uh, we got Marilyn F. Davis from Nebraska. Hi, hey, Marilyn. Welcome. <clears throat> uh, y'all are jumping in comment hi and where you're from so we'll know that you're in here hang on let me comment on there where i'm from there. <laughs> uh, i've been sharing your channel oh thanks Catherine. jesse wild says arkansas this must be where he's from oh yeah he's from arkansas <laughs> i'll put it down he said jesse uh well, hi, Jack Turtle from Australia. Oh, man. What's the weather like over there, Jack? I've always thought it'd be uh, Gatesville, Texas. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've been in Gatesville, Texas before. Yeah, you work all over Texas. He's looking up on the map where it is compared yeah. to us, like what area. <laughs> Jack Turtle says, "Bloody warm." Oh, send it over here. <laughs> yeah, man, it's like it's like twenty something degrees outside over here. It is yeah. cold. 
down on the border, we were we were loving it. It was like in the seventies <clears> and eighties every day. Oh yeah, come back here, and we're like twenties and thirties. Gatesville, like, oh. Texas. Yeah, I've been there before. Been right. I haven't done any work in that area, but I went right through there. <laughs> she said Roswell. <laughs> Uh, I worked in the Waco area, McGregor. Oh, Dodie said Roswell. Uh, oh, hi. Tommy says he's from Roswell, New Mexico. Well, hi, Tommy. We've, we've been New through Mexico. New Mexico on our way to Colorado in yeah. August. So I don't know if we passed through there, but we will. I like, if, I look, if I'm looking away, it's just because I'm curious to where these places are. Yeah, he likes looking <clears> at maps. Hello, it's a happy life. It's a happy life. Oh, I know who that is. <laughs> Who's that? That's Reagan. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Have That's you got any more videos, Reagan? Or got anything planned or coming up? Thanks, Jack. Appreciate it. Hey, from, I don't know if I can say that. Marilyn Davis is my mom. Okay. <laughs> All right. N E, what is that stand for Nebraska? From Kearney, Nebraska. How about that's okay. Kearney, Nebraska? So y'all are let's see here. Who was it? Oh, the one from New Mexico. Roswell, New Mexico. Yeah. You're not too far from uh That's Tommy Martinez is from Roswell, New Mexico. Sorry yeah. if it starts keeps shaking. I got my laptop set on the thing. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, I've uh, I've been, you know what, I'm pretty sure I've been through Roswell, New Mexico, going to Colorado. Um, I mean, actually, no, I haven't been there. I've been close to it, though. I've never went into New Mexico as far as that side of it, but I have been in Lubbock, Texas, which is just not too far from Roswell, New Mexico. <clears throat> and um, Jack. Says love your your channel, guys. <clears throat> Thanks. Uh, yes, posted one Monday. Another one will be coming soon. Okay, I'll go back and check it out. I'll, I'll turn your notification bell on so I'll get notified. We truly enjoy your videos down here in Nevada. Okay, thank you, no thank problem. you, Joe. Appreciate it. Dodie says y'all are in UFO country. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's Carney. On Interstate 80 in the middle of Nebraska. Yeah. How are you from Missouri? Oh, we, he goes to Missouri a lot, Charlie. Oh yeah, I'll be go, I'll be coming up in Missouri um, this week. Not this week. Next week. This is Saturday. Tomorrow well, will be next week. He's supposed to leave out Tuesday. <clears throat> yeah. Not to do it so hard. You're checking the computer. I am. Um. Yes, you UFO, UFO country says Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Have oh, yeah. you ever thought you seen something, Tommy? We we're uh known for Bigfoot around here and everybody's got a Bigfoot story, it seems like. Yeah, Sasquatch. <clears throat> yeah, I uh we was down in Corpus Christi. Um no. <laughs> I guess uh Gallup, New Mexico. Hi. Another Gallup, one from New Mexico. Gallup, New Mexico. Let's see here. We was just in Corpus Christi. Um, what was it? Day before yesterday? No, it was yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. We was just in Corpus Christi yesterday. And uh, we was on the beach. And I had <clears throat> got, we was out there visiting with some people that was, did a revival for the people was where, where I was working at. They had held a revival for them. And uh, we went and hung out with Hi, them Dan on the beach. Dan Snyder from Maryland. Maryland. I heard Maryland is real pretty uh, when when all the trees start changing colors. My aunt just moved to Maryland not too long ago. <clears throat> hey, Jason. He's from Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> well, it doesn't say his name, but I know his name. Okay. Hey, yo, hello. It's, and it's Jesse Great <laughs> driving that. So what, what did y'all guys think about me backing over that concrete wall? Uh, to get that building out of there, that was that was pretty crazy. I didn't have a whole lot of room, kind of a residential area, but uh, 
You know, I, I was hoping he would have another gate that I could get in there and uh, with my machine to at least pull the building closer to the Tamara from Michigan. Hi, Michigan. Tamara. Hey, I come to Michigan. I come see to Michigan. Her comments all the time. Um, me and a buddy of mine come up there. Uh, Van said you got some good driving skills. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, me and a buddy of mine come up to Michigan to go fishing in Lake Erie. Um, we don't go far to Michigan. I think the furthest we go is Monroe, Michigan. Charlie says you got the right tools. Oh yeah. Hey, driver. Thanks, Marilyn. The I'm telling you, in my line of work, you have to get creative sometimes to get stuff either in or get stuff out. He said, I have my class A, and I was impressed. <laughs> Man, I tell you, you just, you learn you learn the, the do's and don'ts. The longer the longer you do this with all these wide, wide loads, it's, it's High, half century form. It's crazy, but like I said, my the guy I drive for him, and he pretty well trained me up, and and uh and I, you know, he says all about the angle. Wanda Davis <clears> from <throat> Lebanon, Lebanon Kentucky. Kentucky. We know a lot of people in Kentucky. Yeah, and I've actually was in Kentucky not too terribly long ago. Where's Maddie? Lebanon. <laughs> Come here, you can get you can get Kentucky. Her. This is our youngest daughter, Maddie. <clears throat> Have you ever been in a repo situation that become violent? Yes. Yes, <laughs> several times. I've had guns pulled on me about a dozen times, probably. I think the most recent one is he had <clears throat> a woman um, throwing wood blocks off of his own trailer, chunking them at him. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to video that one. Uh, I mean, I videoed some uh, whenever she, she climbed up on my trailer. I had it tilted up. And uh, anyway, I'll let Brandy read that comment. But I had my trailer tilted up, and I was pulling a building on my trailer. She climbed up on my trailer. Well, down in the middle of my trailer, I've had it lined with uh, with wood blocks. But uh, what I used to usually set buildings with, you know, not set them with, but I use them as wood shims. If a concrete brick ain't enough, I can use a forged wood block to help make up for it. Well, she was grabbing them off the middle of my trailer and throwing them at me. And she, man, she was she was mad. Uh, Catherine, to answer your question, um, there I don't have um, PayPal. <clears throat> He's got PayPal, but the easiest way is if you have Facebook, you can find us on Facebook. Like there's been people that wanted to donate to our uh, mission work, like when we were going across and doing mission trips. Um, people have donated that way. And that just goes like straight into our bank account if you're not wanting like, you know, if you're wanting for you to not to take a chunk of it. I'm not asking you to, but if, you know, if that's something that you was wanting to do, you can try through um, through Facebook Messenger as a way. Do you own that recovery company? No, I do not. I drive for an individual that's been, uh, he's been in this company. Um. I believe this is going to be either 16 or 17 years that he's been he's been in the company as a contractor. Uh, he's hi he hired me on um, a little over. Oh goodness, this year will be seven years that I've been driving for him. Uh, Homer, Alaska, man says howdy. Hi, uh, toy makers. <laughs> toy makers. Uh, Mark, okay. mm, is Morse. it Morse? Says love, love from, your channel. from Nebraska. Um, hey guys, from from I, I'm not good at thank you, thank you, Tom from Tennessee. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, I can't pronounce that. I'm not good at pronouncing stuff. I think I have a touch of dyslexia, <laughs> and things jumble Larson. together. You are a very cute couple. Thank you. Yeah, but no, I don't. I forget. Are you in Oklahoma? No, no, we're in Arkansas. We're in the very southwest corner of Arkansas where Arkansas, Texas, and Louisiana meet. Yeah. Bless you and your family. Thanks, Toymaker. <clears throat> now, I know I've had a lot of people ask if I'm set up in Oklahoma. And here's, here's the thing. It's not that I'm... I, it's very difficult for to get set up in Oklahoma from my understanding from other drivers. <clears throat> a lot more difficult than all the other states that I have ran in. 
So I just, it don't seem like it's the trouble I have to go through to get set up over there is, it's ridiculous. I mean, they, they, they want so much from you and it's like, it's a headache. <laughs> <clears throat> it was Oklahoma or Arkansas. I don't know. Yeah. I, I call it Arkansas, you know. Which we go to Oklahoma here and there. Uh, the kids go to uh, youth camp, church camps in Oklahoma. And um, we've, of course, been to both of the, the prior Oklahoma meetups. Yeah, and, that was uh, awesome. In Oklahoma, we've been to both of those. <clears throat> and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we'll... we'll we was, we was in Corpus Christi, stayed at a hotel down there, and it was really nice. Big hotel. They had a, mm -hmm. they had a uh, pool table. They had a, uh, I don't know, they had an indoor pool. They had a lot of stuff at this this hotel that, I, that I've never seen in a hotel. Yeah, they had a, they had like a lounge on the bottom floor, and it had, um, it had a pool table, like a game room right there in the lobby, and um, it's like a back deck around a, there was a deck around the pool with grills and just all kinds of stuff. It was so nice. I told Jesse, I was like, if anybody's ever looking to have a meetup around the, the what is it, like cool. South Texas area, that, that hotel would be a very good hotel yeah. to hold one at. So as somebody said, I'm in Southwest Missouri. I've seen you at the meetup. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll have to go back and try to look at the videos. It's hard to remember everybody because yeah. we met so many people. See, I'm, I want to be in the Branson area, uh, kind of going across the bottom state of Missouri first thing uh, Tuesday, like Branson, Donovan, Piedmont. And then I'm going to kind of be working across the bottom of Missouri. But before the end of the week, I'm going to be all the way at the top in Hannibal, Missouri, and all the way up there, just like way up there. I've been up there twice, and that's a long way up there. Terica says, um, hey, from Oregon, enjoy watching you too. Um, let me catch back up on the comments. Uh, so that's where I stopped at. Yeah. Uh, sounds like Illinois. They yeah. They wanted all more taxes. Now, Illinois, I have to say, was probably one of the more Hi, easier Adrian. states. More easier states to get set up in. I'm actually set up in Illinois to haul up there. I've been in Illinois picking up buildings, and I've Hi, delivered. Tiny Tim. And, I, and I've delivered. Hi, Tiffany. And I've delivered buildings in Illinois, uh, uh, but I. Tennessee. Tennessee is another country. Another another country. <laughs> it seems like another country as yeah. hard as they are. Uh, Tennessee was another another state that was real hard Thanks, to get set up Lord. in. Uh, I haven't quite fully got set up in Tennessee. I, I think I like one more thing, and then they'll have me put it in the system, and I'll be able to run up there too. Yeah, we were just, we were blown away. It was, <clears throat> it's just in the last month, we've got almost 3,000 new subscribers and it's, it's just, it's mind blowing. I am 76 now and wondering why do you have a certain area you cover? How far does your dog take you? Thank you. Well, I'd have to say, you know, despite the fact that I've driven Illinois, Kentucky, uh, Missouri, all that. Uh, I've driven all the way to Mississippi, right on the Alabama line. Um, but I'd say oh, probably Donald. the furthest I've went was South Texas. That's that is just a long way down down to the bottom of that state because uh, you're going all the way down to where you're on the border of Mexico. I'm down in the foot of Texas, as far south as you can go. Um, yeah, we repoed a few. Um, he did one for sure this time, and we did a few last time. Um, where like in their backyard was like the wall. Yeah. Um, Mobile. Hi, Mary from Mobile High. Mobile, Alabama. And we go through there when we go to Florida. It would be cool to see y'all either like chilling after recovery, stopping to eat, delivery, enjoying, watching something like that. I, I did at first. I showed more of just you know vlog type stuff, but. People complain about it. It seems yeah. like people complain about everything. Yeah, toy toy makers. Yeah, I'm 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 all over the place. I'm hoping that things are going to change before long. Uh, actually, I think it is. Uh, I got word from uh, me and my husband really enjoy your videos, Mrs. Norred. May I pronounce your name wrong, and I'm sorry if I did. Um, Hello, Richard from Ohio. Yeah, that's a pleasure, <clears> Dan <throat> says. You all are so humble and down to earth. Videos are always a treat to watch. Thanks, Dan. Eunice Henderson, good job on those sheds. If only 
they all could be saved. Yeah. Yeah. But um, but as I was saying, is I I got word that I'm I may I'm gonna be going back into doing deliveries again. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be covering like the Hot Springs area, and I'm kind I'm really looking forward to that yeah, being being home every night again. Uh, I I'm in the repo buildings actually as of right now. Yeah, yeah. he's been repoing almost full time for almost a year. Um, at the beginning, he was doing uh, deliveries and repos. Journey along with Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Hey, Shannon. Hi, Dawn. Hey. But, uh, yeah, in the beginning, I was doing all deliveries, and then whenever things got slow, I went to repo buildings, and things picked back up. I went back to deliverance, deliveries. Uh, but the guy I drive for <clears throat> hired somebody else, and he's been doing all the deliveries, so I went into repoing, and... Uh, I'd have to say I enjoyed seeing everything, all the new new different places, but it I sure I sure do miss Miss Holmes, uh miss being home every night. Will you video the deliveries too? Uh yes. If I go, he yeah, will. Well, she goes. <laughs> he does he is it's, too, it's, too busy to, to like work and try to do it because he's got like a you know, kinda like when you're going through a drive through, <clears> you know, you don't want them to just stop and try to video everything they're doing. They're just trying to get it and you know, get it done and get out of there. Yeah. So, um, when he's just working by himself, he really don't have time to video. And he's tried using a GoPro. He just, you know, he just even forgets to put that on. He's I'm just not, he's in work mode. He's yeah. not in video mode. I'm um, go go um, go, y'all. I so. mean, I'm sorry. I'm, I know it's, it's bad of me. Uh, so uh, if I go, I'll you know the times that I go, I'll video for him. That's one of the main reasons. Unless he needs me to escort, that's the main reason I go. Other than to spend time with him. Yeah. Now we got an interesting video for y'all. Uh, Brandy's will post it next week. I got a big. I mean the biggest building I've ever hauled to deliver. Uh, and I think y'all really gonna enjoy it. Hi Barbie from Mass Massachusetts. Barbie. Go ahead and finish what you said. Oh, uh, so this is the biggest shed I've ever I've ever hauled to deliver. It's not the biggest one I ever hauled because I picked them up, carried them to the lot, dropped them off. But this would be the first one I've ever delivered, and I'm really pretty excited about it to see how it's going to do. I imagine it's going to take me three or four hours to set it up because it is a big one. It's a, it's sixteen by fifty, y'all. Now I told the guy I drive for. I'm like, man, you lied to me. He said, what do you mean? I say, when I first came to work for you, you had me under the impression that we were hauling portable buildings. I said, I'm pretty sure this is breaking the boundary line of portable houses. <laughs> and he said, oh no, it's still in the name portable buildings. I was like, uh huh, okay. Uh, Wolfie sixty seven says, well done, guys. Keep up the great <clears throat> work. Greetings and best wishes from Adeline, South Australia. We need sheds like that over here to help with housing shortages, rental shortages. Yeah, that would be great. Um, let me get, sorry, trying to get caught up. Um, okay. Your mouse is right in the way. Yeah, I know it. But it though. won't. It won't scroll if I don't have the mouse on there. Uh, what about a head cam? He he well, forgets see, to turn it on. That's the thing, Tamara. I've thought about a head cam, and I've seen people that deliver buildings and have head cams, and their head's always doing this right here. And it, it makes me dizzy watching their their videos because it's like steadily moving. Now, I have considered a chest cam because I, my head may be moving, and you might see a little shaking on my as far as right here goes. Um, and I thought about going that route. It seemed like it'd be better. Uh, but I've thought about the hand, head cam, and I just I move my head too much. <laughs> okay. Uh, half I'm watching from the Netherlands, Holland. Oh, um, wow. My grandma always told us our ancestors on her side was from Holland. Um, let's see. More people just telling each other hi. Yeah. Who cleans out all the nasty stuff that people leave in the shed? The uh, dealer on the lots usually clean them out. Okay, and this is how that usually how it works. Some of the dealers will clean them out. Other yeah, dealers just leave it in there. Will actually either leave it in there, or there's some dealers that will hire somebody to come in and clean the buildings out. They'll wait till like two or three buildings come in, and then hire that guy to come in and pay them hourly or whatever his fee is to come in uh, and clean them out. I'm sorry if I'm going slow on these comments. 
Yeah, I keep on rambling on. No, it's and down. Hey, I want to thank everybody that's joined so far. I'm yes, glad you're thank here. Y'all. I thank every one of y'all for being subscribers to our channel. Um, I know <clears throat> it's been Thanks, a little while. Since, I know it's been a little while since we did a giveaway, and we are working on something. I wear something is in the works. Believe me, we are trying to. I'm trying to figure out something great, awesome. That'd be awesome to, to get to give away, and um, and we just appreciate y'all. And all the support and love y'all guys give our channel. And uh, like I said, we're gonna try to keep we're gonna try to keep y'all uh, entertained. You know, whether it be crazy donkey milk stories or you know, <laughs> I'm telling you that that right there. I mean, we we still have not. Uh, Hello from Central Texas. Oh, we are. Right. We probably just passed through there. <laughs> yeah, Chess well, cam is a good idea. Like the police wear on their vest. Yeah. Chest mounts are tight on me, so watch what you buy. Okay. Hi from Wiz. Would oh, it be Wisconsin? Danny, Danny uh, Zern, is that Wisconsin? Love your videos. You guys lay back down to earth. Keep them coming from North Detroit, Michigan. Okay. Thanks, Jason. He says smash that like button, everyone. Okay. Let me get on there, Jason. Hang on. <laughs> Let me get on there. I'll smash that light real quick. When you go smash with it. him and video, it's more <clears throat> for his safety and you guys' liability. That's good. Yeah, that's a lot of the times. Um, like, like sometimes they'll say that we damaged the property and stuff like that, and we can look, you know, go back and show no, we didn't. Um, virtual hug from Tiffany. <laughs> Thanks, Tiffany. <laughs> <clears throat> Thanks. My son lives in Detroit. Says toy makers. This son lives in Detroit. The machine you use that you move the buildings with is awesome and sure makes it look a lot easier. Yes, it does. Oh yeah, and that new machine's got that remote control. I know you've probably seen me in, the, in some of the videos where I'm standing back and uh, operating the <clears throat> that machine with that remote, and that is so awesome, especially when you're in tight places or you need to watch everything as you're coming out. Uh, I've done it so long without that remote. And I still kind of get in the habit, you know, jumping on and off the machine. And I remember, like, hey, I got a remote. I got something that makes it easier on me. Why am I using it? Uh, Tamara <clears throat> says, I'm excited to actually be in a live chat. I usually don't get the notifications. Uh, Until hours or days later. Roland Raquel with Raquel says hello. Hey there, Roland Raquel. All right. Hi from Greensburg, Kentucky. We bear and salvage. Macy Ferguson tractors. We pick up a couple in Arkansas. We'll maybe get back your way and meet you guys sometime. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I I knew what you meant, <laughs> Crystal. I said <laughs> I did um, that all the time. Okay, somebody just put on there. Ashley Davis. Yeah, that's there. Funny. She is. Okay. okay you Do think you it's think it's cheaper to build a shed or buy one? Actually, where you go right now? Yeah. With, uh, materials. <clears throat> Material is through the roof. Um, here, here I've always thought it would probably it would be cheaper to build a shed, but the reason that a lot of people buy sheds is for the fact because they don't have the time to build one. Um, and a lot of times the buildings are really not that much more as far as the labor goes into them. Um, I mean, if you set them up on a rent to own through that the company, yes, it is through the roof ridiculously high. But as far as the buildings go, it's, I mean, it's, it saves you all the time and, and the hassle of having to try to build it. I've had delivered buildings to people that have a building halfway built in their yard. And they said, we just gave up on it. We didn't get the time. We just bought one. And it's, you know, it's, it's one of them things where it's, it's just completely up to you of how you want to do it. Like Eunice says, sure. More like a man having fun playing video. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's just okay. it's just like a remote control. I mean, I've got an RC, RC mule. Instead of an RC car, I've got an actual RC machine that can move like houses, y'all. I mean, this is so awesome. You just answered Judy's question. She said, what's the machine called that you operate remotely? Yeah, it's called a Mule 5. And they're made by a company called Cardinal. Hi, Matt. Yeah, Cardinal Hi, is up in, they're actually in Illinois. And Kentucky, there's two different plants, but the main one is in Illinois. I've mm -hmm. been to it. There's some awesome people there that do great work, and it's really interesting to see how they throw them things together. Not throw them together, but they put them together. Uh, Matt? Yeah, that's the one that's Titus's cousin. <clears throat> okay. What's up, Matt? 
Yeah, we uh, <laughs> we got it all figured out. Uh, are you as fun as Titus, Matt? Hey, from say that word from Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Look, y'all. I know we got some crazy <laughs> names in Texas. We got crazy names in Arkansas, and we got crazy names everywhere. But Tullahoma. Maybe. Tula, Tullahoma. I guess I can look it up and have Google pronounce it for me. That way I might can pronounce it right. Who is furthest from you? Who's watching? <clears throat> uh, so far I've seen Holland uh, and Australia. Those yeah, are pretty Nether far away. Netherlands. I think somebody you from two Netherlands. are a team. Uh, um, hi, Missouri. Danny is, 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 is Estes. Maybe, yeah. Tiffany Spanger. We got six inches mon Monday at in, no, we got in six Missouri. in Missouri. Yeah, we got a friend of mine that's up there. Been calling Thanks, us. American Bam. Uh, I'm in Canada. We got somebody from Canada. Uh, okay. Rolling with Ra Raquel. Uh, Raquel. Okay. He said, "No, not as fun as him." Uh, we love, we love brother Titus and sister Bethany. Yeah. They are Mesa, M Mesa. I might pronounce it wrong. Mesa, Arizona, or Mesa, Arizona. Where? Right here, Bob Lamb. Oh. I would say Mesa. I don't know. Mesa. <laughs> I probably ain't pronouncing it right either. Yep. Uh, My Doty says we got flurries. We must have some flurries going on outside. Close compared to Australia. And Scottsdale. Texas is Eunice Henderson. <clears throat> Scottsdale, yep. is that in Arizona? I'm not sure. I think it is. I got an ice cream right before the live started and it's it's melting. Yeah. And I don't like eating in front of people. So I'm like, my ice cream is melting. Scottsdale. Now, as far as the one from Lebanon, Kentucky, if you're still on here, I've been to Hickory, Kentucky, which is about three and a half New hours Hampshire. from there. Oh, they got about to get a foot of snow. Ooh. I uh, like snow for about one day. You know, <laughs> and then I'm like, go somewhere. I'm not a big person on cold coldness, okay? That's why I went south for two weeks. Not only for work, but it's warmer down south than it is up here. Uh, let's see here. Ice cream. Uh, we got everyone have a great night. I'm going to run and do something, even if it's wrong. See you next time. All right. Bye, Jason. See you later, man. Enjoy. Glad you jumped in here. Yes, Scott, thank you so much. Scottsdale, Arizona. Okay. We really enjoy watching your channel. It's nice to see someone who doesn't curse. <laughs> and it's awesome. Congratulations. Oh, it jumped way up there. Oh, On 6K. The 6K. Greetings from Oklahoma. Hi. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, we it's it's hard to watch. It's hard to even get on Facebook anymore <clears throat> and watch like little video clips. It seems like every single one, you know, there's cuss words and you know it's 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 ridiculous. Brad said they got 15 inches in Iowa last night. Oh, hmm. Bob Lamb from Mountain Home, Arkansas. Hey, you know, Bob Lamb, we Mountain have Home, family in Mountain Home, Arkansas. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, he goes through all there all the time. Yeah, I, there's actually a lot there. I'll bring uh, buildings to and drop them off a lot of times. Um, and I tell you, it's quite a bit of a drive. It takes uh -oh. me six or seven hours to get from my plant up to Mount Home. Not because of it's slow driving. It's because there's so much construction that I have to go around. Oh, it's that ridiculous. Sounds good, Eunice. Well, we I'm eating in front of you. <laughs> Sausage, fried cabbage, and cornbread. Hey, Man. Where's my plate at? My goodness. I ain't had no fried cabbage. I ain't had no pinto beans. <laughs> you know, here's... Black here, eyed peas. Black eyed <laughs> yeah, peas. Here's the thing, y'all. For years and years and years, it's been a tradition to eat black eyed peas and cabbage for uh, young. health from and, and, and wealth or something like that. Well, we've been, I've been doing it for years and I'm still broke. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured I'm, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm not going to eat it. I want to see if something changes here. It's working so far. It's no. working so far. <laughs> I live right next to the shore of Lake Ontario. Ontario. Are you expecting a whole lot of snow in the next couple of days? I think there's is predicted <clears throat> rain and like really cold weather, so we'll probably get a little bit of yeah. sloppy ice. West we get stuff. we get My mostly we get mostly rain. Salesville, Arkansas, and cousin in North Fork, Arkansas. North Fork, North Fork. I've been to North Fork. I don't know where Salesville is. I'm not saying I ain't been there. I've been to so many places that it's hard for me to keep up anymore with where I've been. Yeah, he was born and raised, uh, um, well, uh, oh, yeah. in his younger years, raised in Louisiana. And I've 
born and raised in South Arkansas. I've never, I've lived okay. in uh, Silsby around the Beaumont area for a few months uh, years ago, but it was only for like three months and I come back home. Have you, you guys have to go. You guys have a last time. All right, Jack. All right, thanks Jack. for stopping thanks in. For, thanks for joining in here. Y'all making me hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, y'all are a great couple. God bless you on your travels from Nebraska. All right, M Mark, thank you. Mr. Duke. The YouTube gods are promoting you all. Well, I wouldn't. It might be YouTube algorithm. There's only one God in my book. <laughs> Southern o o Ohio, we are remodeled one, one, one of those buildings. buildings. You all re repo. You, it's supposed to be repo, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I see. I that. see the. Uh, I see the sales sale bill, and I have been through there. I have been to Norfolk. It's right there. Yeah, oh, it says it's between yeah. the mountain home and North. Yeah, Norfolk. I've been to Briarcliff. Been to Hopewell, Norfolk, uh, Lone Rock. I've been all down through there. My husband is working in Port Arthur, and he'll sit. He'll sit. I know where Port Arthur I is, and I've I been down there. A lot. And that 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 is. I tell you. It's not farther than it's not further than Donna, but it sure seems like it takes forever to get down to Port Arthur. I went down there uh, twice, and I thought, man, this seems like a long ways. And I looked at the mileage, and I'm like, it's still closer to home than that other state, other town, though. Oh, in Texas? Yeah, Port yeah, Arthur, um, Texas. Texas takes so long to even get around. Texas is so big. Um, the evangelist that preached <clears throat> the uh, revival down there where we were, he's been driving for two days which they have uh three small kids so they you know have you know they're not just driving all night um like we would not having the kids with us um but we called them and they had just got like right to the edge of texas or right going yeah, coming into arizona com coming in uh, new mexico new mexico okay so they <clears throat> took them two days to get across you know driving across um just the state of texas i mean we called them it was like Almost midnight. Yeah, and I know where Pennsylvania like, We're still is. Still in now. Texas. <laughs> uh, I haven't quite made to Pennsylvania, but I'm not not saying I'll never get up there. Uh, we are getting Call snow here tonight in Rayla, Rayla, North Carolina. Yes, it feels like a long drive. I'm sorry, I'm just. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, I know where Pennsylvania is, Dale. Um, See here, yeah. During the long show, so yes, it feels like a long drive. And here's the thing: I'm googling right now Port Arthur, Texas, from here, and it's only 253 miles, four hours and 24 minutes. Now, where we go, or where I we was just at, my phone load up. There we go. Yeah, it's 634 miles away from here, and it's uh, nine hours and 39 minutes. Which it takes us usually about ten hours, ten hours or eleven hours, depending on how many stops we make. And depending on the crazy traffic in Houston, mm -hmm. if y'all live in Houston, if any of you live in Houston, I'm very sorry for that crazy traffic down there. <laughs> I don't like it. I've been through there, and I have to drive through there like I'm driving in Mexico. I just got to drive like I own the road. <laughs> Hi, Stephen Boyd, new subscriber from <laughs> Vernon, Mount Vernon, Texas. He okay. goes, he works in that area. Mount all the time. Vernon, Texas. We got a lot in Mount Pleasant, Texas. Uh, so I'm not, we're, we're not too far from you. I used to run up in Sulphur Springs. Somebody else got that one now, but we're still Mount Pleasant. Okay. Bob says how, you know, whoever invented the mule you use revolutionized the industry. How was it done before the, like prior to the mule? Bob and I've never, I've, I've done it without the mule one day and I don't ever want to do it again. But before the mule, they used a lot of winch chains, uh, them handyman jacks and they used really thick pipes and at that back then they didn't have buildings near as big as what we got now i think the biggest they built was like a 12 by 24. okay john thanks for stopping in all right see you later john uh but yeah how, from van, buren. van buren arkansas yeah i've been there before i've delivered some buildings up there uh just explaining how they did it but yeah, but back then they, they did it with chains, winch, jacks, pipes. They did it all by hand. And uh, Maddie, Maddie's back here. She's trying to she's trying to peek around and hide. But anyway, but yeah, it was crazy. Um, a lot of times if they couldn't get the truck right in where you wanted, that's how they did it all. But pretty much everything was done off of the trailer. 
They had small trailers. Most of them were bumper pull. Um, but I mean, we we came a long way with stuff, and it's I'm really glad. Okay, hi from Texas, about an hour south of Dallas. I've been watching repos. Thanks, Ruby. Um, Judy, I don't know why that's blue. Did I click on it? Okay, I clicked on it. Okay, you can highlight comments. I didn't know that. All right. Learn something new every day. Long drive would be if you... Wait, wait a minute. Okay. Let me... Long drive would be if you came out where I live in North California. I have family in California, and that's actually where the evangelist that... um, that preached the revival is from there, from Fresno, um, California. Yeah. Uh, but my family, my grandma on my mom's side, she lives in uh, Lakeside, California, and my uncle and cousins and stuff like that. Shannon says, Houston traffic is horrible. We are in Texas City for two years, so we drove through Houston like once a month. I'm sorry, Shannon. <clears throat> uh, Eunice says, I live one town outside of Galveston, and I won't drive uh to houston i hate construction and traffic wanda said need to go god bless you and your family well, wanda glad you was able to join us in our live here uh, hi moon dog uh, see you later go get off here yeah well, thanks for dropping in uh during all shannon uh, steven says yeah i'll probably see you sometime around my mount, mount pleasant millennium floor and mount pleasant in pittsburgh 43 years okay Stan Cooley, how long have you been in the business? Uh, this will be seven years this year. Uh, hey, y'all. Vance here. Hi from Evans Family Adventures. Thanks for stopping in. I asked before, but are you holiness? <coughs> yes, we are holiness. Pentecostal um, holiness, and no, we do not handle snakes. <laughs> I want to make that very clear. Mm. I've had people ask me what my religion was, and I told them Pentecostal holiness, and they said, do you handle snakes? I'm like, no, I do not handle snakes. The only time I handle them is when I'm throwing them in a the bag after I kill them. <laughs> How many kids do you have? Uh, we have three. Uh, we have a 17 <clears throat> year old Waylon, and then Maddie's the baby, and then we have another, uh, and she's 11, and we have a 12 year old Dakota. And he, the Waylon, the Dakota, there. Playing their games with their friends. Um, yeah. They have a little Nintendo Switch, so they're playing games with their friends. Um, all the comments went away. All right, Tamara, that's awesome. Evan says, okay, they're Shannon and Evan's family saying hey to each other. But, guys, this has been a crazy journey. Y'all have been with us from our very first video. All y'all that's been with us for a long period of time. The very first one we ever made, Brandy did a, uh, a tour. Um, of that, that two-story big red building. And, I mean, we got so much hate comments on that thing. It says, we, you know, you got to do landscape mode. Hello, it's the <laughs> 21st century. We got landscape mode. At the time, we didn't have a clue what landscape mode was. Um, but, uh, watch and support you guys. Um, good. Okay, working in the things you've done, sharing your videos with my friends and family. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Terry. Chloe's mom. I just seen the video from Rio Grande City. I subbed. And like channel. Well, thanks. Thanks. Glad to have you aboard. Danny S is on <clears throat> Monday. Congrats for that. Um, that's so funny. I'm Pentecostal friend of my son and his wife. Was invited to church and she was afraid to go because she was scared of snakes. <laughs> 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 that's funny, Ruby. Yeah, that is great. God has blessed y'all. And because of that, you bless us all. Oh, thanks, Tamara. Hmm? What's with the snakes? Or is some, it, am I saying it right? Is it Tamara or Tamara? Snakes. I am A of G Pentecostal. All right, Marilyn. But yeah, I mean, all y'all, how many have been with us since, since we got, since, I guess since we, she posted that very first video of the two story. Probably, probably not everybody. <laughs> I mean, is there anybody here that, that subscribed after they seen that champ, that video or, or uh, anything like that, or You're saying, 
basement. Like after our first few videos we ever posted of, of the buildings, is it? Because I know there's been a lot. There's a lot of people here, and we got a lot of subscribers. Yeah, there's a lot of new people, but I see a lot of names that I recognize and that I see all the time. They yeah, always comment, and we're so thankful for all of those. And there's someone. Um, there's someone here that that uh, we've seen at the meetup, like Journey Shannon, along with Shannon. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I've seen Tamara Walther. Tamara, was you at the meetup this 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 past year? I don't know if she was at the meetup, but I know she always comments on our videos, and we're very rolling right with uh, Raquel connected through Ridge Life. Yeah, I remember seeing her from Ridge Life. Hey, I like, I like about five since I started who is watching. It? What is his um, name? Bob Lamb says, um, gained about 500 subs since I've started watching. Well, okay. if you've you must have started watching today <laughs> because we went, we jumped up over uh, 3,000 just within the last, this month. We've gained 3,000 subscribers. I've watched um, <laughs> a long time, but just subscribe. John Sweetie. Ta uh, Ta Tamara. You can call me anything but late for dinner. Hey, that's right up your alley. That's right. Said. That's right. Hey, I never pass up a meal. Hi, Paul Brennan. Uh, Eunice Henderson, I'm not sure. Been with you since before the meetup. All right. Okay. Ridge Life sent me. Yeah, I remember See, seeing your name in there a lot. I, I used to do go and get in all of the watching grows a lot. Um, you should be on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't, I haven't, you know, it gets busy and I haven't got to get on one. I don't, I don't even know if he's still doing them. I don't think I've watched any since Tim has stopped doing them. Okay. Up the good work, you will get the silver play button someday. Wow. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> Joseph Young said we, we had about 1,200 subscribers when he started watching. Yeah, I know. I've seen, I think I've seen him come in a few times. Now, Ridge Life, I know a lot of people came over from which, Ridge Life. I'll Life. get it right. I'll get it right here, man. My words get all tangled up. But Ridge Life, I, I, that guy, he's, he's just, he's cool. <laughs> hey, I've, I've hung out with him. Um, yeah, Tim's pretty awesome. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just one type of guy. Um, you just, you know, you want to hang out with him. You want to go grab a steak with him. You know, if you're able to. <laughs> Lakeside is in San Diego. I'm in Battle Country, 75 North of Sacramento. I'm in Butte, not Battle. Butte. Oh, it looks like Battle from here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sacramento. Sacramento. Okay. Brent Went, Favre. Brent I work Favre. for the Junior College in Brent Favre. Okay. All right. The Crockers mentioned your channel today. Jared said he really likes to watch out. Yeah, I seen that. I seen I was in that live chat. I was just I was just joking um, because you know it bugs Jason. People still call that um, the water tank a grain silo, and I was just picking at him because they was like, "I love this and I love this," or "I like this and I like this." Like I like your grain silo. <laughs> yeah, I was just. And then that, yeah. And then he, they started talking about it. Yeah, we and really appreciate every time they mention us. They don't have to. We've never asked them to. Um, um, we just, we just appreciate every time that they, him or Jason, even mentions us. Or uh, I know a few times Jason has wore our shirts. There's been like, I don't know, like six different videos that Jason's wore okay. our shirt in. Woo, woo, Driftwood. Hello from Montana. Enjoy your videos. Keep it up. Keep up your job. Doing a good job. Delivery driver from Lumberyard, CDL driver, piggyback forklift on Princeton forklifts. Okay. Cool. That's supposed to be Tamra. Tamra. Last audio auto correct. <laughs> Tamra, I'm sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. Okay. Hello, I just had y'all roll up from Algorithm enjoying watching. Uh, Watch Ridge Life and enjoy your channel. Thanks. Uh, Danny says, yes. Just so you know, I grew up very conservative and religious, but now, now, but like, surround myself with decent folks, live with kindness and Terry Gray first or fall into that character. Well, Thanks, you. Catherine. I didn't grow up religious at all. Um, we didn't. You know, neither one of us grew up going to church, but later in life, you know, we both settled down and, and you know, the Lord brought us together. And, um, you know, we both, that's just, the, that's just where we felt most home and we felt, um, 
you know, the presence of the Lord. And, you know, I don't want to go somewhere where I don't, you know, feel the Lord there. If I want to go to church, I want to go to church. You know, I want, I want, all, I want everything. <laughs> I've already had everything the world has to offer. Now I just want everything the Lord has to offer. Do you guys? Hey, do you, you guys, you all talk funny. I'm in Connecticut. I enjoy hard work you guys do. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. <laughs> well, Paul, I'll tell you right here. <laughs> I may be from the country, and I may talk a little funny, but it's going to be all right. We'll get through this thing. <laughs> Jerry Crocker spoke about you last night. I hadn't got subbed. Oh, I didn't know he talked about us last night. I like the couple of videos I saw. You didn't. A lot of people <coughs> pronounce it Tamara. Tamara. Okay. Congratulations. You worked so hard, and you deserve it. Thanks, Roberta. Uh, great job, Jack. Knife in that trailer over the fresh concrete. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, that was found that was less than a week ago. Let's work a little. Good evening, Roberta. Thank you. That's funny. Your name, uh, Roberta, always makes me think about um his boss that owns the truck and trailer because <laughs> I give name, him a hard time. His, his name, name is Rob, okay? <laughs> and I'll call him, I'm like, Hey Roberta, what you up to? And all that, he said, Saint 67, Washington, y'all from Ashdown. Mom, that's where our main plant is in Ashdown. Hey. Right up above Ashdown, between Ashdown and Wilton. That's where all the buildings get built that he, uh, when he does deliver, um, that's where the Dirksen plant. And my mom lives in Wilton, actually. Yeah. So How often really nice. and what days do you post videos? I don't have a schedule, Chloe. I just, whenever I get one, I'll try to post it that day, if not the <clears> next day. It just all depends on whether we work or not. Well, he always works. It just depends on whether I go with him or not. Okay, um, been in Arizona so long, relatives in Arkansas think we have accents. <laughs> you know what's funny is I've been to places up north with a uh, with a guy, <clears throat> um, and we went into restaurants, and people ask us like, "Where are y'all from? We love your accent." And we don't even think we have an accent until we go somewhere else, and we're like. Man, and we're saying the same thing. Like, man, y'all got an accent up here. <laughs> and they're saying the same thing to us. Man, y'all got an accent. Where y'all from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. People saying hi to each other. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hi. We got 73. You so funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, one thing about it I've always heard is there's never a dull moment when you're around me. And uh, it was always, I'm always getting into something crazy, doing something crazy, you know, climbing up on top of my mule, acting yeah, all right. goofy. <laughs> Your boss has an awesome name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, I'll tell you what, we have a, we have a good time doing stuff together. And that right there, you, you get that out of there. <laughs> we have a huge shake company. Built by the Amish. They build really beautiful buildings. I you know, uh, Dirksen has been around, uh, I think it's a, the oldest building company as far as the, the central part of the United States. They cover the middle of the United States. The humor is a gift from God. <laughs> um, and I think, if I if I remember right, they told me that the Amish was the original ones that started building Dirksen. And from there on, they started putting plants in different places, and they hired builders, uh, <laughs> like the plant down here in Ashdown. Um, yeah, I, you have an accent. I have one, but you really have one. Hey, that's all right. I'm just an old backwoods country guy, you know. I was I don't have an born out in the sticks. I don't have an accent. Max, Maddie Maddie's says she here, don't have an like, accent, have but any. she got an accent. Now, my I wife, no I'm way. just going to tell y'all, I like aggravating her every now and then because when she gets aggravated or mad, she has this such a country slang accent come out. I love it. <laughs> but I have to make her mad for her to, for her, for her to come out. <laughs> uh, we're from south southwest Arkansas. Our, Driving through we flipping go to on Branson the way. every time we go back through flipping Arkansas. We go to Branson all the time. We're actually going again in March, and he's working in around Branson next week. Bob Blam, yes, I have been to flipping Arkansas, and I've wondered who in the world came up with that name. 
because you know I thought you know you got this kid maybe moved from flipping Arkansas down to some other state. And they may say, oh, little Johnny, where are you from? He said, I'm from flipping Arkansas. You know, it just don't sound good at all. <laughs> it's just, I'm like, man, who thought of that name? It sounds like it's like a by word. Yeah. <laughs> no, Jamie, you have an accent, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Brandy has an accent. I love it. Jerry Long Shannon said Thanks, that. Shannon. Oh, ruh, 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 ruh. And here's Robert my thing. Is. I get, I get tongue tied. Altruistic adventures. Yeah. <laughs> Artistic adventures. <clears throat> yeah, we haven't went live in a while, y'all. And Brandy came in. I was, yeah, I was in there in my recliner, minutes. just kicked back, just sprawled out, and uh, and she said, "Jesse, let's go live." I'm like, <laughs> "Live? Why?" And she's like. Well, hit the six K mark when he go live. We got to talk to our to our, to our subscribers. I'm like, okay, and uh, so she came and got it all set up. We've yeah, within like when I when I uploaded like the Streamlabs when I like put it in there, it's like four minutes. <laughs> I did it like five minutes until six. Yeah. We've been on here for almost an hour. It only sounds like an hour, y'all. I really <laughs> enjoy talking to y'all. I mean, I, I, I just... Yeah, you barely only... get to be on here. Like, when I'm by myself, I'm like, okay, I did the giveaway. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sorry we haven't done... She hasn't been able to do the Wednesdays. I know y'all are probably missing that. Uh, and it's the reason was because she's been stuck in the truck with me. <laughs> that and I think I had to take you to an appointment or something like that. Oh yeah, I and had then a, I had a doctor's appointment. This. That that toothache, y'all. I thought it was the end of me. Jamie, my husband is Kevin. That's easier. Okay. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. That makes a lot of Nebraska. Uh, In Arkansas. Arkansas, love Southern hospitality. Keep yeah, on doing you. Thanks, You're Mark. Not, are we one thing. One thing about Arkansas that people, you know, you see on Facebook say. Um, put something on there to describe your state. And our state is known for fried bologna. Okay. Well, that's what Google says. That's what Google says anyway. Now, I don't know. I mean, I like fried bologna. I put a little bacon grease in the pan, fry it up, put it on a piece of bread with some with some lettuce and tomato, salt, pepper, You're mayo. You're not making Arkansas look any better, babe. Hey, that's Okay. <laughs> That's okay. You know, less than a week ago, I live in Springdale, Arkansas. My teen years were spent in Corpus Christi. So interested in your I'm also pretty coastal. Okay. What's the longest building? What's the longest building pool with the winch you have, have done? done? Uh, Bob, you know, I've, Do I've, you mean like the longest, like, like how far he's pulled it or like how long the building was, Bob? Arkansas is known for their generous hospitality and gorgeous views. Arkansas does have yes, some really it's pretty beautiful. views. Uh, when I go up to Mountain Home, I really enjoy seeing all the the trees because I've been up there during the, the spring when everything is just in full bloom mm -hmm. and it's absolutely beautiful. And um, how far you pulled it? How full? How far I pulled it? Yeah. Okay, Bob. I have pulled my winch all the way out before. And then still had to get some chains off my trailer and run them out to the building and then drag it up because I could not get to it with my machine. The only way I was going to do it is pulling it, you know. So I think my winch is like 75 or 80 foot long, something like that. And then I have maybe another. I used to have almost 100 foot of chain, but now I'm down to 35 because my other chains are in it. Other trailer I pulled. This new trailer is bigger. It's new to me. It's not brand new, but it's new to me. As y'all can see, it has that extension in it, remote control, all that cool stuff. So, <clears throat> my aunt used to buy blue ribbon, oh, fried bologna. Yeah, my aunt used to buy blue ribbon and roll it and cut it in blue. Like, I really think. Live. Sheds are built in PA, shipped to. Mm -hmm. It's just hard to believe so many people from Massachusetts are going. Yeah, I live in North Central Arkansas. Okay. Hey, you know it was crazy. I was <clears throat> up there in Hickory, Kentucky, is where it all began for Dirksen. And my boss told me whenever he first started, almost seventeen years ago. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Catherine Brick, oh, uh, Biggs, you aren't making Arkansas look any better, babe. And giggle, too funny. 
<laughs> hey, it's it's the poor man's steak, y'all. I mean, that's just all there is to it. I mean, I'm all about rib eyes and T-bones and all that and ribs. But when you down you, you down to your last dollar, I'm telling you that round steak tastes pretty good. Round steak. You can make it. You can make it just right, just perfect. Uh. Teddy Jean bologna is the best. I don't know what bologna is the best. I don't like it, to be honest. I'll eat it if I have to, if that's all I got. But it's one of them, like, ramen noodle type Ruby, things. Ruby, uh, no, I can't say I've ever heard of Pastor Bob Joyce in Arkansas. I've heard of Bob Joyce, but I don't. I, the name rings a bell, but I don't, I don't see a face when I hear the name. So I've definitely heard that name before. Roy Randall says, hello there. Hello there. Hi, Roy. Hello there. Hi. Hola. They got, they got a thing that says, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, as I was saying, I really enjoy talking to everybody here. Mm -hmm. Jesse loves talking. Yeah. I'm like, I'm I mean, the I have, <laughs> I have to call people to talk to somebody, and they like, okay, I got to get off here. They don't want to talk to me no more. Uh, just wanted to congratulate you and your awesome subscriber count. Jesse and Brittany have a blessed evening. Got to go. Okay, Roberta, thanks so much. All I right, really appreciate for, it. Thanks for jo joining with us here. During long with Shannon said, love fried bologna sandwiches. Grew up on them. I did too, and that's probably why I would rather not eat them because when you grow up broke and poor, it's either ramen noodles or bologna, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Now, I've done upgraded just a little bit. I went from bologna to bacon flavored spam. <laughs> that's pretty good. I like I like, I like bacon spam. flavored yeah. spam. Now, I don't know if y'all have ever seen it. Um, he has a YouTube channel. I like it when he was, he was 14 and his mother and his sisters came and held a revival at my mother's church. That's awesome. Okay. I'll have to look, look it up. Bob Joyce looks and sounds like Elvis Presley. Well, a lot of people say Jesse does, but his hair is short right now. Usually... Yeah. I, when, if it was up to me, I like him to like keep his hair a little bit longer, and then like it goes up yeah. like that. And it's like shh. Bob Lamb. How do you deal with high winds while towing the buildings? I don't go near as fast. Yeah, I just go really slow and yeah. make sure you always strap down the building super tight. Petite Jean meats are the best. Petty Jean supposed to be Petty Jean. Okay. My family is from Maine, and my mom talked about the fried bologna and red hot dogs. Yeah, they have. Well, they oh, call yeah. them Frank's. Red hot dogs are usually called. There's a brand called Frank's, but then there's also like a type of hot dog called Frank's. Our poverty food was peanut butter and eggs. Peanut eggs. I hope you don't mean mixed together, Dawn. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, Do you sell Dr. <laughs> Milk? Not quite, Dawn. We're, we're going to come Terry, up with some. Terry. Oh, I'm sorry, but Terry, I'm so sorry that your comment got deleted by YouTube, but thank the Lord. I, as soon as I seen it, we were all rolling in the floor, and I screenshotted it, and we sent it to the uh, pastor the next day, and he had, he had seen it, but then he was asking, hey, where'd that comment go? And I was like, I screenshotted it, but I, for some reason, YouTube like immediately <clears throat> deleted it, but I think it's because like at the end, you said something about, did you know Donkey Milk cures tuberculosis and i think it's because it's like some kind of claim you know yeah uh, for curing something but that comment was like wins every comment we've ever had that was the best comment ever no they said no not mixed thank Bony you <laughs> but Terry, i'm saying i think yeah. we're coming trying to come up with some type of slogan like kick your morning off right with a tall glass of donkey milk <laughs> or donkey milk it has a kick to it you know something like that <laughs> Yeah. Something crazy like that. We're, we're going to come up with a slogan. That pastor down there, he called me. He said, hey, brother. He said, I looked it up. You can actually buy powdered donkey milk. Ew. And I'm like, man, that sounds pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, that has been like the butt of their joke the past two weeks. Uh, so I like mayonnaise and banana tired. sandwiches. A little bit tired of hearing about donkey milk. <laughs> Ru Ruby says she likes mayonnaise and banana sandwiches. Ew. I'm glad you like it. I would do maybe banana and peanut butter before I would do banana and mayonnaise. I do not uh, like mayonnaise at all. My kids think I'm weird. I get I buy them a little microwavable chimichangas. Uh, the, like the blue bag comes in like an eight pack. Yeah, I'll cook two of them things up and I like put a lot of uh, mustard on it. And they're uh, like, "Ew, why are you putting mustard on your chimichanga?" I'm like, "I like it." 
and uh, disgusting. <laughs> uh, she's a donkey milk. This is a new coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Happy Lot Reagan says, will y'all be doing lives every week? I, I'm not sure if we'll be doing them again, uh, Reagan. Uh, just, just depends on what's going on. It would be cool. Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed, I enjoyed talking to everybody on air. Maybe if we can. Uh, My thing is I don't like them doing, I don't like doing them by myself because I, I mean, people that know me in person know that I'm, <clears> you know, Unless I know you real well, I'm really reserved usually. It's it takes a lot. Not me. <laughs> hey, I'll get right in here, y'all. I ain't scared. It takes a lot for me to even like I don't know. It's like to me it's like terrifying to even walk up and talk to somebody. Uh even if I do know them, it's still hard for me. Like I don't know if it's I don't know what it is. I just uh, Mrs. Norred, my husband likes bologna and peanut butter. That sounds, that sounds interesting. I may have to try that one out. Yeah, I might like that too. I love peanut butter. We got both. And I like we'll bologna. Right now. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'll make a sandwich <laughs> right now. We're going to do it. Hang on. Y'all just stick, no, stick around. No, I'm going to no, let no. y'all talk to her for a second. We're going to do a bologna and peanut butter. Okay, you can get right here. Oh, who, who said that? Oh. <laughs> bologna and peanut butter. I'm all mm. about trying new foods. Mm -mm. Not, well, so y'all don't even. Be, some people. Um, Ever tried chocolate gravy? I have, but I don't like it, Bob. Um, it's all right. It, to me, it it's, tastes like warm pudding, like it. warm melted pudding, and and I don't like chocolate, so I don't like a lot of things. I'll try anything, but I don't like a lot of things. Look, there's a lot of things I can I can tolerate, and there's a lot of things I like eating, but there's one thing I do not like, and I cannot tolerate, and it's black licorice. You don't like black licorice? If you that is the only thing I don't like. I enjoy watching them. Well, thanks, Reagan. Peanut butter and bananas is good. Yes. Camera. I remember um, I like to, used to like to freeze it and put it on there. Bacon I'm not good at conversations bacon. either. Are you really doing that, butter huh? is good. I am. Uh, somebody else says it's good. What's that? Bologna and, and, and peanut butter? Yes. Say hello to Maddie. Thanks for <laughs> wavering. God bless. Dad, you Hi, spell Daddy. my name with a um, I E. <laughs> Maddie, don't be like yeah. that. <laughs> she she gets she gets touchy about her her name. <laughs> Everybody thinks it's like M A D D Y or like M A D. Y'all, we don't have baloney, so we well, at least they her. said Ma with yeah. the T. Okay. I guess I can do the Get up so they can see. Yeah, we'll do ham. No. Hey, that that's that's. That's like the bologna right there and that the round stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. turkey. Yeah, it's this same thing. <laughs> we got turkey bologna. <laughs> yeah, we got I'm working on it. I love black licorice. Yeah, I don't mind licorice at all. My mother likes peanut butter with cucumbers and onions that have been soaked in vinegar. Um, my grandma used to slice cucumbers and soak them in vinegar and salt and pepper, but I've never put peanut butter on there. Uh, hi there. Hi to your little sidekick. Yes, this is my, my little mini me. Hi. Hello from Summers, Kentucky. Hi, Danny. Don't panic, y'all. Coming back. He said, don't panic. He's coming back. <laughs> Give me a cup of water here. <laughs> He's getting a cup of water to wash it down. Oh no. I can't believe you're be doing this. It might be wonderful. Uh, okay, here I come. Just get a scoot over. Now I haven't I haven't put it to together because I wanted y'all to see that I actually did this. Yeah, that. He's gonna gross me out. All right. All right, so here we go. You see? Where's the camera at? There we go. We got we got peanut butter and we got bologna. All right. Um, you're never kissing him again, I guess. I'm gonna smell a. Uh, I'm gonna smell interesting here in just it's a minute. Awesome meeting people you get to watch. Yeah. Uh, All right, y'all. If this gets too, if this gets too serious, I mean, I do have um, Chick chicken, sauce. like Chick Fil A sauce. I mean, it's guess, chicken dipping sauce. Chicken dipping sauce. Look, if y'all have, if y'all like Chick Fil A sauce and you don't want to pay for it, go to Walmart. Buy all like the mustard and ketchup and stuff, and get chicken dipping sauce. 
Great value, and it tastes just like it. All right, here we go, y'all. The moment of truth. Bob says, not sure if I could do the bologna and peanut butter. Well, Jesse's about to do it. It don't taste bad. <laughs> the peanut butter really overcome overpowers the meat. I think the main thing would be the texture for me. Mm. I'm trying to hold it down just being beside you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we'll just start a food channel on the side. No. We call it Jesse Eats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all tell him what to eat that day. Mm. Yeah, Brandon can cook me some like crazy stuff. She explain it to y'all, and I'll be sitting down eating it. Mm -mm. Wouldn't that be a sight? This reminds me of like a um, them little lunchables to go, where you get them little crackers, the meat, cheese, and all. This almost tastes like that. That's sad. But she said, "Really, I spent too much time on a tortilla filet sauce." You're a good sport. <laughs> Wash it down with donkey milk. Oh, <laughs> he's got a glass of water. Yeah, with peanut butter though, you would almost want some kind of milk. To me, mm -hmm. um, likewise, did say for better or worse, Brandy. <laughs> That's right. When we were living in the bus with. With I was a kid, I got down to eating banana and mayo sandwiches for a while, but unfortunately, got an apartment. But fortunately, not after. unfortunately, oh, fortunately, we okay. got an apartment sooner after. Soon after. Good. Powder, Powder version. version. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, you you had to really shake that stuff up really good. Notice how they never mentioned menus and any vowels. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Now it's quiet because he's chewing, see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I get food, I get quiet. Yeah. Does everybody give him food? Mm. Yeah, I'm not a big talker. Does anybody want to jump on? I can leave a link in the... Um, I can leave a link in the thing. Let me copy it. I'm not share screen um. invite. Copy link to clipboard. <laughs> I have to go. All right, journey along with Shannon. Glad you jumped jumped on here. Bye, Shannon. Thanks. Bye. Okay, there's a link in the chat if anybody wants to jump on the chat with us. Food channels. Gagging, Gagging with, with Randy. Randy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If anybody wants to jump on and be in the chat with, like in the like on a split screen, uh, y'all are welcome to. Um, there's, yeah. There's a, a link right there. I need some Tabasco. That's what this needs. <laughs> oh, I hear you. That's all I can do. That they don't even smell good. It's fine to me. <laughs> I can't believe you're actually finishing it. I thought you were just gonna taste it. No. Every New Year, my wife's grandma Ruby used to insist on eating brains and eggs, black eyed peas, for like I'd uh, disappear until it was gone. <laughs> my um, I can remember somebody. Tabasco is not a sponsor. I think it was um, my grandma's uncle Fred. He used to live in a school bus, but and then my his sister, which was my grandma's grandma's mom, um, they used to eat squirrel brains and eggs. <laughs> I don't remember ever eating it. When you're hungry, you can eat more things than you think. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's right. Hey, Tabasco does taste good on this too. Well, just, just for y'all's information. Well, obviously, by looking at me, I ain't been hungry in a long time. <laughs> yeah. You seem like a happy family. Love y'all. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Mark. Smart move, Bob. <laughs> yes, man. very smart move. <laughs> That's probably what I would do. If he was eating some brains right now, I would not even be sitting here next to him. Mm -hmm. You should try cheese it, ch cheese whiz, mojo lettuce loaded with salt, pepper. Mm, okay, I'm not sure I got all of that. I don't know what that 
from the what in the world is he eating? Brianna, there's somebody on there talked about eating um, bologna and peanut butter sandwich. So he decided to give it a try. It's actually so. pretty good, especially when you put a little Tabasco on it. It makes it no. taste that much Help better. Me. Yeah. Here's I the thing. Like, I love Tabasco. Brianna, I love, I Brianna love knows you love Tabasco. <laughs> My granddad likes eggs and brains. No thanks. No, I, I'm I'm good. I'm good with brains and eggs. My dad. If I was in a foreign country, like where we go, Mexico, yeah, they do eat brains down there. Yeah, out of respect, I would eat it as long as I had Tabasco. <laughs> I could I could get it down, y'all. I'm telling you, hot yeah. sauce covers covers a world of hurt. Yeah, that's the thing. One thing about. Like, I'm picky, like, here, but I know, like, when we go across uh, the border into mission trips and stuff, I'm always respectful and always eat uh, whatever they give us down there, um, you know, because it's disrespectful. Maddie, can you please turn that down? Um, yeah. <laughs> Brianna's, yeah. I agree, Brianna, because to them, it's disrespectful if you, you know, if you even act like you don't like their food. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very disrespectful, so... I always, you know, yeah, only Jesse. <laughs> hey, I'll try some crazy stuff. I I think we could probably come up with like a side channel. Crazy foods with Jesse. Yeah, Jesse eats is what I, I'll call it. Yeah. I agree, Don. Blarf. <laughs> it tastes really good. I like it. I would do it again. Like if I if I eat a bologna sandwich, I want it fried. And I want a little bit of mayonnaise and some tomato and bacon and uh, lettuce. And I, I just want it. Yeah. Jesse, was it finger licking good? Well, my fingers are pretty clean. So. Well, they don't look clean, but that his hands stay stay uh, dark colored because he works all the time. They're stained. Pig feet's good. My pippy used to eat pig feet. Yeah, we, me and Maddie actually got a video of us trying pig's feet. They I weren't see. really that bad. But Mrs. Mrs. Nerd, if if my fingers were nasty with that stuff, I would be licking them. So yeah, finger <laughs> licking good. How that commercial go? It's finger licking good. Something, <laughs> something like that. There's a commercial that does that. The blarf was for the brains. Oh, okay. Oh, here we missed one. My grandpa Homer used to make bone marrow and head cheese sandwiches at Europe during the Depression on a farm in southern Illinois, and they didn't waste anything. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try not wasting anything if I can help it. Yeah. Um. Like I said, the only the only drawback I have is black licorice. I can't stand it. I've tried <laughs> it, guys. My grandmother calls it candy. I call it torture. <laughs> like, how can you eat black licorice? Mississippi have some del delicacies, but I can't say what they are. <laughs> Mississippi. Yeah, I'm sure I can guess a few of them. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm from Louisiana. and They eat anything down there? I'm telling you, if it will fit in a pot, we're going to make gumbo out of it. I promise you. <laughs> if it moves, crawls, wiggles, if it'll fit in that pot, we're going to throw it in there and throw some seasoning on it and get it up going good. I mean, my uh, <clears throat> I have some family down there. They get that pot of go gumbo going, and you'll take a spoon in there. It look like noodles coming out. And it's just a slime with it. And uh, <clears throat> I was From like, "What's that?" They said, "What's?" I was like, "What is that?" They said, "That's what helps it go down." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> it's rough, y'all." Mm. So it's that right there was nothing. I mean, Miss. Girly, black licorice, black licorice, licorice is, is good, good for, for ulcers. ulcers. Okay. I like pickled pig feet. Hey, people like it. I'm not one of them. I like the red licorice, but the black licorice, I just, I can't do it. Uh, Bean Boozled, I don't know if anybody on here has ever heard of that game, Bean Boozled, where you use like uh, popcorn flavored or stinky feet of jelly beans. Uh, it was either chocolate pudding or or. Or black licorice. No, no. That one was either black licorice or skunk spray. Yeah. Well, me and the kids, me and I think, yeah, me and the kids did that game one time. We'll have to do it again. That like, would be a fun live. And do a live. <laughs> on it. You know, if y'all would love to see us do that on a live, 
let us know because we can make it happen. Now, there's a candy store down in, in our in Texarkana that sells that Bean Boozled game, and we can do we can make this a live like maybe <laughs> next Saturday, a week from today, we can do another live. Are you going to be fun? Yes. Okay. And we can do a Bean Boozled. How much does a mule cost where we are? They don't use mule to try to drive sideways and so That's amazing. That way is amazing. Uh, how much do the mules cost? Okay. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. <laughs> the, you can buy a nice car for the price of the mules. And not 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 want to load it out with option, but you can buy a pretty nice Okay, uh, Don. Got to go fix Marshall's med so he doesn't. Thanks for stopping in. We really appreciate oh, you. Oh, yeah. But uh, but me and the kids are doing it. They they spit out just about every one of them. I think except for the long clippings one. I ate every one of them except when we got down to the black licorice or skunk spray. That was it for me. <laughs> they got some of them. Couple of them, I think one of them got black licorice. No, two of them got black licorice. One of them got skunk spray, and I got skunk spray. They ran out the door, spitting it out, trying to get that flavor out of their mouth. And I was standing there. I was trying my best to get it out. I wanted to tough it out. Uh, he said you can't eat peanut <laughs> <laughs> Can't eat black licorice, but can eat peanut butter and bologna. <laughs> Bye, y'all. It was fun. Yes. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Those mules are amazing. Catherine, yes, Catherine Big said yes. <laughs> I guess yes to the, to the live of us doing the Bean Boozled. Yeah, but they were. I was trying to tough it out. I was trying my best to get that skunk spray down, but my body was telling me, "No, you're not getting this down." How do you put a price on something that saves so much time and labor? It's worth. Oh yeah, yes. absolutely. I'm just glad that he doesn't pay for the equipment. <laughs> That's like the plus side of him working for another guy. The the his boss. Um, is paying for all the equipment and um, he drives and just makes a percentage of whatever the boss makes. Yeah, and I, I keep up with the maintenance on the equipment. Yeah. He buys all the parts, but I'll put it on there. I mean, there's some things I'll have to have him help me with, but for the or most part, I got some it. things that have to be took to the shop, you know, that you can't do. Yep. You know, I heard a red solo cup. We're doing the blue solo cup. <laughs> well, well, y'all, it's, <laughs> it's been real. And been it's been fun. An hour and 20 minutes. It's, it's been real fun. Uh, but I know it's getting late. You want to come on? Here's got, our, our youngest boy. Come here, Dakota. He's like, no. Yeah, he got a blanket <laughs> he don't on. Get on. He's wrapped up in a blanket. He hadn't been feeling good. But, yeah, uh, yeah we're <clears> probably going to probably gonna jump off of here. I think we'll go on till, till we hit an hour and a half, and then we'll jump off. No. No? Well, okay. Yeah, we can go ahead and get off. Everybody's getting off already. Yeah. All right. We appreciate everybody. Thanks again for the uh, 6,000 subscribers. Yep. Uh, best of luck in 2022. Thanks, Jane, Kevin, James Stout. Yep. Um, we'll see y'all next time. We'll try to go live again um, Saturday, and I'll see what I can do about doing the Wednesdays giveaways again. Just all depends on how everything's going. I uh, don't know when the next video is going to be, but we'll we'll get one out soon. Probably for sure Monday um, we'll have another one. But we appreciate everybody. Thanks, everybody, for 6,000 subscribers. Yeah, and, and growing, y'all. This yeah, is awesome. We really I never, appreciate it. I never would imagine it. Yeah. Until the next adventure and the next crazy foods thing we got going crazy on. Crazy food adventures. There you crazy go. Crazy food adventures. There we go. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.